The seminaries and institutes of religion present stories from the Book of Mormon. In the final days of the Nephite nation, a great Nephite historian, prophet, and general wrote, Behold, I, Mormon, began to be old. And knowing it to be the last struggle of my people, and having been commanded of the Lord that I should not suffer the records which had been handed down by our fathers to fall into the hands of the Lamanites, for they would destroy them. Therefore, I made this record out of the plates of Nephi and hid up in the hill Cumorah all the records which had been entrusted to me by the hand of the Lord, save it were these few plates. For the Lamanites have gone through and hewn down all my people, save it were twenty and four of us, among whom is my son Moroni, and a few who escaped into the south countries, or who descended over unto the Lamanites. And it is many hundreds of years after the coming of Christ that I deliver these records into the hands of my son. And it supposeth me that he will witness the entire destruction of my people. Behold, I, Moroni, do finish the record of my father, Mormon. And I have but few things to write, which things I have been commanded by my father. And now it came to pass that after that great and tremendous battle of Cumorah, behold, the Nephites who had escaped into the country southward were hunted by the Lamanites until they were destroyed. And my father also was killed by them. And I even remain alone to write the sad tale of the destruction of my people. And I fulfilled the commandment of my father. And whether they will slay me, I know not. Therefore I will write and hide up the records in the earth. And whether I go, it mattereth not. All my kinfolk have been slain. And I have not friends, nor whither to go. And how long the Lord will suffer that I may live, I know not. Behold, four hundred years have passed away since the coming of our Lord and Savior. And behold, the Lamanites have hunted my people, the Nephites, down from city to city, and from place to place, even until they are no more. And great has been their fall. And behold, also the Lamanites are at war one with another, and the whole face of this land is one continual round of murder and bloodshed, and no one knoweth the end of war. There are none save it be the Lamanites and robbers that do exist upon the face of the land. And there are none that do know the true God, save it be the disciples of Jesus, who did tarry in the land until the wickedness of the people was so great that the Lord would not suffer them to remain with the people. And whether they be upon the face of the land, no man knoweth. But my father and I have seen them, and they have ministered unto us. And whoso receiveth this record, and shall not condemn it because of the imperfections which are in it, the same shall know of greater things than these. Behold, I am Moroni, and were it possible, I would make all things known unto you. Behold, I make an end of speaking concerning this people. And with these few words, Moroni closed his account of the general Nephite destruction. It had been 16 years since the fall of his nation. And during those 16 years, he had wandered alone, protecting both himself and the precious records from the Lamanites. But Moroni's mission was not completed. 
the Lord had much for this wandering prophet to perform. In the next 21 years, between 400 and 421 AD, Moroni abridged an important record, the record of the Jaredites. This record, engraved on 24 gold plates, had been found centuries earlier by the Nephites. It contained an account of a group of people who had come from the old world and had lived on the American continent for hundreds of years, finally destroying themselves by civil war. Now I, Moroni, after having made an end of abridging the account of the people of Jared, I had supposed not to have written more, but I have not as yet perished, and I make not myself known to the Lamanites, lest they should destroy me. For behold, these wars are exceeding fierce among themselves, and because of their hatred they put to death every Nephite that will not deny the Christ. And I, Moroni, will not deny the Christ. Wherefore, I wander whithersoever I can for the safety of mine own life. Wherefore, I write a few more things contrary to that which I had supposed, for I had supposed not to have written any more. But I write a few more things that perhaps they may be of worth unto my brethren, the Lamanites, in some future day, according to the will of the Lord. Moroni then recorded many important principles established by Jesus Christ when he was among them. These included many ordinances necessary in the Church of Jesus Christ, such as the bestowal of the Holy Ghost, the manner of priesthood ordination, the sacrament administration, and the conditions and mode of baptism. He also included in the record an important sermon by his father, Mormon, on faith, hope, and charity. Furthermore, he included two letters written by his father to him concerning the condition of little children and baptism and concerning the wickedness that had come over the Nephites and Lamanites. Now I, Moroni, write somewhat as seemeth me good. And I write unto my brethren the Lamanites. And I would that they should know that more than 420 years have passed away since the sign was given of the coming of Christ. Behold, I would exhort you that when ye shall read these things, that ye would remember how merciful the Lord hath been unto the children of men, from the creation of Adam, even down unto the time that ye shall receive these things, and ponder it in your hearts. And when ye shall receive these things, I would exhort you that ye would ask God the Eternal Father in the name of Christ, if these things are not true. And if ye shall ask with a sincere heart, with real intent, having faith in Christ, he will manifest the truth of it unto you by the power of the Holy Ghost. And by the power of the Holy Ghost, ye may know the truth of all things. And I exhort you to remember these things. For the time speedily cometh that ye shall know that I lie not. And the Lord God will say unto you, Did I not declare my words unto you, which were written by this man, like as one crying from the dead, yea, even as one speaking out of the dust? And now I bid unto all farewell. I soon go to rest in the paradise of God, until my spirit and body shall again reunite. And I am brought forth to meet you before the pleasing bar of the great Jehovah, the eternal judge of both quick and dead. Amen. After finishing the record, Moroni carried the bound set of plates and the Urim and Thummim and put them in a carefully prepared stone box which was buried in the side of a hill. And this same prophet, Moroni, would one day, as a resurrected being, 
be selected by the Lord to return to the hidden sacred record and deliver it up to a young man to be translated and published as a new witness for Christ to the world.